Jane Designs here and today I'm going to show you how to make a watermark logo in Photoshop CS5 Part 1. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your logo in Photoshop. So my logo is going to be this one that I'm going to use as the watermark. So I'm just going to open this up, open with Photoshop. CS5.1. So now that's opening up. Okay, so that's on a big canvas, and I don't really want it on a big canvas, so what I'm going to do is make a new one and make it 600 pixels by 600 pixels. Press OK. So here's a new one. I'm going to get my selection, what's it, it's not a selection tool. I'm going to get my marking tool. I'm going to put it the whole length of the thing and press Control C. Now I'm going to paste it into my other 600 by 600 pixels um, canvas and I'm going to press Control T to make it um, editable and also I'm going to press Shift to stop it. Like, moving out of place. We'll just make it a bit bigger and that's about it. And the next thing I'm going to do is take off the white around the picture and use that by doing that just use the magic wand tool and click onto the white and to unselect that dotted line just press Ctrl D. And now you can unselect the background layer by clicking on the eye and now this is made transparent. These um, white and grey boxes mean that that will be transparent. So the next thing I'm going to do is save it save it as a PND, PNG file because if you save it as a JPEG that transparency will automatically, automatically be filled as um, white. So save it as PNG and I'm just going to save it to my desktop as trial watermark logo. So I'm just going to save that as that. And where it says interlace, we want to click none. Just like that. And if you're going to <coughs> click on it. It will just look normal. It, it hasn't got a white background, so like just normal. So join me for part two on how to put it into that the um, Sony Vegas Pro 10. How to put your watermark into there. So join me for part two 